We're not trying to cause a big sensation. We're just talking about my generation. Depending on how old you are, you might recognize those lines from My Generation, the classic 1960s anthem by The Who. In this video, we're talking about a different kind of generation, Generation 1 hub bearings. You'll find Generation 1 hub bearings in driven front and rear wheels and in integral drum designs on the non-driven wheels of smaller cars. These cartridge-style wheel bearings can have a tapered or ball design. They're double-row, angular contact bearings, typically with a split inner ring. The split inner ring means each half of the bearing can rotate independently of each other if rotated by hand. Typically, these bearings are pre-adjusted, greased, and sealed for life. When a Gen 1 hub bearing is worn or damaged, in many cases the other related components will need to be replaced as well. There's a good chance that the hub has been damaged in service or during the removal process. It's always recommended to use a new axle nut when replacing a hub bearing because reusing the old nut could potentially cause the nut to loosen during vehicle operation. As a counter pro, your best bet in these situations is to recommend a hub bearing kit so your customers can do the job right the first time. There's nothing worse than getting the wheel end disassembled and realizing you don't have all the parts you need. Kits like these are the solution for that. So what will a hub bearing kit include? Well, we're using SKF as an example here. Their Gen 1 hub bearing kits contain the hub flange, a Generation 1 bearing, a C-clip, an axle nut, and any seals that are required for the application. For some applications, SKF also has pre-pressed hubs, which have all the components in a pre-assembled unit. There's no need for special tools or complex press work. The part is ready for bolt-on assembly. If your customer is replacing a cartridge-style Gen 1 hub bearing, do them a favor by recommending a kit that contains premium quality parts that are tested to the actual OE specifications for fit, form, and function. It'll save them time on installation and it'll promote a longer service life because they're replacing all of the components needed for the unit to function properly. I'm Josh Cable, thanks for watching. <laughs>